Welcome to your spirit messages, everyone. We are gonna see what cards came out for you. I've already meditated and prayed, and you got this beautiful card called Love Holes and No Grievances. And on the back of it, it says, the holiest of all the spots on earth is where an ancient hatred has become a present love. So the spirit is asking you to consider allowing a different view of the grievances that you've had in the past and are still holding on to. And the, the assistance that you're getting to do that is these two cards came out together, beauty and flow. And what they're saying is that beauty is a feeling. Um, and if you are allowing yourself to feel the beauty in yourself and others and overlook everything else, um, that spirit will take you through a series of lessons that will show you a different way of looking at your grievances so that they no longer hurt you. And the spirit is saying that these, whatever is coming to you at this time, as far as people or invitations or work or whatever is in front of you is going to, is going to guide you out of your past grievances. And the Spirit is saying in order to do that, you're gonna to need to look for the beauty within and go with the flow, meaning letting go of control and realizing that it's not always a straight shot to your goal. When things don't seem to be working out, it's the process in itself that is going to take you through the healing that you've asked for, even though it doesn't or it may not make any sense to you. Whatever is showing up for you right now and not flowing is actually for you to surrender into that not flowing and make it be your flow. It, it's only your resistance to what's happening that is making it feel um, like something's not right or should be different. But actually the spirit wants to take you through your healing in what seems like obstacles. And the spirit is saying to support that direction you are being, um, yeah, it's acknowledged right now by the spirit that you feel like you're in between two worlds, that you've been in the gray for a long, long time and you can sense and feel and even taste at moments this new, colorful, joyful, happy world. But it's still a back and forth. It's not solid yet, it's not consistent yet, but it's getting more and more and the spirit is saying, enter into this happy, happy energy. Just go into it, go into the feeling of beauty, the feeling of happiness, and that is going to help guide you into the next world that is coming to you. Your angel message is saying that you have wisdom within you and there's been a lot of developing wisdom and that you are now making choices with that wisdom. There is an acknowledgement that you are now making integral choices, choices with integrity, choices for your highest good. Um, it's acknowledged and it's just gonna take time for one world to completely fall away and for you to come completely into the new world. It is a process, Spirit is saying. You're doing a great job. It's all perfectly orchestrated. So with these three cards that came out together, it's, it's, it's quite simple. You know, keep your eye on the goal, which is the purpose, which is forgiveness, which is love. A bird's eye view, a bigger picture of your mind playing out right now and you just watching the scene. You know you are looking at this Ten of Pentacles, which is the happy dream, basically. You, your eye is on the prize, the purpose of forgiveness and love. And then the Spirit is just saying, you know, this new world is coming in and you're on top of it. 
And this is a time to act as if. You know, it's like the only thing stopping you is the mental conflicts of the ego saying what he's always said. There's nothing new. There's nothing new going on. It's just a pattern that has to be stopped. So yeah, delete, delete, delete those thoughts that are not of God. Keep your eye on on forgiveness, on purpose, and on this new world where you are the observer. You are on top of the world with a bird's eye view, observing your life, but in consistent peace. This is what is being offered you, and you know it. You're just so ready for it to happen now, and it's still in process. The process that's happening is that you're ready to take this leap of faith with the fool, and yet you're still having a draw to nostalgia to the past. You're still being drawn to some of that. It's, it's mind patterns and it's okay. You know, it's, you really are letting go of the focus on the past and you are being asked to let go of that. But, it, but while you're still in process, it feels like you're, you know, it feels like you're in between worlds. But the spirit is saying you are in the middle of a mystery a mystery that is being revealed to you through light, through light experiences, but it's like a slow drip. It's, you know, we cannot be hurled into heaven. It would be too frightening. So just, you know, acknowledge that you are a happy learner um, on the way to um, re-awareness that you are eternal, eternally loved, safe, and protected and you know these these messages are just a way to help you relax into what's happening and to accept what is happening for your perfect peace and for your good and for your unwinding from the the pain and suffering of the world and into glory into the light into the love that you are and you deserve and you are worthy of so keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the goal, which is purpose, which is forgiveness, which is love. Those are the messages I have for you, and I'll see you next time.